Kyle Anna, and today we'll be talking about toddlers and eating, or perhaps I should say toddlers and not eating. Because as someone who provides care for a 24 to 36 month old, you might already know toddlers can be picky eaters. And if you find yourself grinding your teeth over your toddler's refusal to eat, or their refusal to eat anything except macaroni and cheese, please know that you are not alone. Understand, there are several normal and developmentally appropriate reasons why toddlers want control over what they will eat. In fact, young toddlers may be starting to exert control over more than what they will just eat. They are getting pretty good at walking, running, and jumping, and they've learned to say a lot of words, including no, and they understand even more. They've learned where you keep treats like cookies, and maybe they've even learned how to climb up and help themselves to them. And as their abilities and their comprehension grows, so does their drive for independence and for control over some parts of their lives. They don't yet actually have much control, but eating is one of the first things they will master. So don't be surprised if your toddler says no to something you know they like just because they can. Your two-year-old is developmentally on track when they show assertiveness and express food preferences. But when their no is to eating, parents and caregivers are naturally concerned. You have spent too much time on midnight feedings to give up control now, and you shouldn't. You want your child to be well nourished today and to learn healthy eating habits that will last throughout their lifetime. So, what should you do? Well, first of all, remember that most 24 to 36 month olds only need 1,000 to 1,400 calories a day. Accept their strong food preferences, as long as they're healthy, and at the same time, continue to offer a variety of healthy food options. Let your child choose which and how much of those healthy foods they will eat. Remember, children eat when they are hungry, and they usually stop when they are full. Also remember, your toddler's stomach is about the same size as his fist, and that's not very big, is it? So give your child child-sized amounts of food so that you don't expect them to continue eating after they're full. It's not necessary for your child to always clean their plate. Instead, teach them to listen to their body, trust them to know when they are full, and allow them to stop when they are full. Encourage, but don't force children to try new foods. It can take as many as 10 times of trying something new before your toddler will accept it. And give your child time to sample and learn to like new foods. And if you serve something new with something you know they like, your chances of success improve. Provide their meals and their snacks at regular times. And between meals, or even at meals, offer them water to drink. Avoid too much fruit juice, pop, or other sugary drinks. And then let your child help prepare some meals. Even young children can rinse fruits and vegetables, they can tear lettuce, they can stir ingredients. And children get excited about tasting something that they helped prepare. And so, in order to show you something that they can easily help you prepare, I've got a great idea to share today. It's called a fruit taco. And for a shell, you'll use something round and flat, like a pancake or a freezer waffle, perhaps. And you'll want some spreads so the things will stick. So you might use some nut butters or some cream cheese. You might add some jelly or some jam. And then you want to give them some fresh fruit. I have bananas today. And then to top it all off, you might add some coconut shreds. Here we go. I'm going to put it together real quick here for you. Putting on the spread. Give your child a safe, child safe knife. Let them spread it up around. They can easily decide where and how much fruit to put on. And then let them top it off. Voila, a fruit taco. 
and you have something delicious and healthy that you and